Oh my fucking leg. Oh my. <laughs> oh, that shit hurts. I don't know what just happened. My leg just went all over the fucking place. If that makes any sense, that doesn't, but it should. Anyways, so last tutorial, what did we do? We did this shitty ass thing where we shitty ass this thing and where we just walked around and collided with stuff. Um, yeah, that's quite interesting, you know? I mean, it's not every day you get to collide with stuff. <laughs> <coughs> I'm bored. Give me a fucking slack. Yeah, that's, I think that's the word. Anyways. So what uh, we're gonna be doing, and we're not gonna change this fucking movement script because I'm done changing movement scripts. This is the second time re I'm recording this video. I try to do all the changes. If you're seeing something different, just fucking copy it and don't ask me the comments because I've done fucked up again. I just like that video was so fucking lame. I I couldn't even like rewatch it all and see if that's even like it didn't even go get a pass. You know, it was that fucking dumb and stupid and pointless and, and a lot of mistakes basically uh, okay so what we're gonna be doing this time is it is, uh, hey, hey, hey. this world script is gonna be controlling every single chunk instead of every single chunk be controlling itself on an update because that basically um instead of what, what, what are we gonna do instead of uh, doing like a an up, void update for every single chunk we're gonna do a void uh, update that like is for every one at the same time and not like every one uh, particularly then a word is not a word. Um, so basically, well, I'm just, well, what I want to do is just come over here and be like, <coughs> void, void, tick update or something. I don't know. Just call it something fancy that reminds you of Minecraft and that gives you motivation to wake up or some shit. Okay, so tick update. Okay, that's that's pretty good. On the tick update, we want to go ahead and reference through all our chunks um, and find out the ones that are available to to use. So we also want to do that. I'm going to do if chunk uh, is working, and we want to return. We don't want to do anything else if it is working. We want to update its position maybe as well. Anyways, um, so what we're gonna do, okay, yeah, so if it is working, we don't want to do anything, <coughs> then we, we're gonna shake, yeah, we're gonna loop through every single uh, piece of uh, thing. We can do it for each, but I'm gonna go ahead and do, uh, no, I'm gonna do it for each, am I, because, like, if the, the least list changes, then we are pretty much fucked up. The thing is, I'm not entirely sure how can I loop through a dictionary, because I don't, do done this many times before, so I'm gonna try and do it like this. Um, chunks dot chunks dot count, and then can I do? How oh, come the? F and then I do chunks chunks dot get. Uh, try and I, that's the thing. I. I what did I just fucking do? I don't know how to loop through these these things. I don't think you can just do that. That would be too uh, too way too easy. Uh, chunk C is equal to. No, that's not gonna be a thing. Give me a second. Sometimes you gotta give in. Apparently, um, there is no way of doing it for. Oh, there is. I was just gonna say element at. Okay. I was thinking in like doing some crazy ass shit, but apparently we're just gonna have to do it on my net uh, and then do that and then we're good to go. There's not contain a definition for L. Fuck you, mate. What? <laughs> on synchronization, get object data, try get value. Anyways, we're gonna do the way I was gonna be doing. So let's just go ahead and do this dictionary. <laughs> We need to import collections that generic vector free chunk um, chunk list which is equal to this and then I think we need to do like a clone or something. Um, I'm not entirely sure how 
anything. I think with the list you can like clone it or something, but I'm just gonna say that it's equal to that list. And then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, interact with the for each on this new list, uh, for each var uh, c in that. Is that gonna work? That is gonna work. <coughs> so we're gonna go ahead and do chunk chunk which is equal to c dot value and vector free position which is equal to c dot um, key. <coughs> we get wanna just make sure that our chunk that uh, position, chunk position, is equal to our key position because that's what we're going to use to access it and like sometimes we had some issues where we needed to update this every single frame for some reason mm, and that uh, didn't work out quite brilliantly and this won't take that much to change a variable it's not that big of a deal anyways <coughs> is there something to, to keep, uh, keep an eye on? Okay. We are updating our position. Then we want to go ahead and check if it is dirty. If it is dirty, so if chunk <coughs> that is dirty, we cannot access that because it's. Uh, why can't we access that? Because it's just dirty. It's not is dirty. Anyways, if our chunk is dirty, we want to go ahead and say chunk dot c mesh. Uh, we we'll just basically do what we are doing here. <coughs> And then chunk that calculate that, and then chunk that working, and then chunk that C map. That's basically what we are going to be doing. <coughs> I'm going to put that like so, because maybe we want to access it later or something. <coughs> so if we do call any of these, we want to go ahead and return. So it stops everything and then waits for it to stop working, which is going to be instantly, basically. But we're going to start some core routines and it's going to uh, be the best way to approach this. So we should not see... Oh, we actually see a, a little bit of a difference there. You could see it was like generating uh, one after another. Uh, I thought it would be pretty much instantly, but I guess I was wrong. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I want to check my frames per second while that's happening. They don't seem to be changing at all, which is good, but we're going to be adding later on some lining and more complex maps and more bigger meshes and more meshes overall. So we're going to have to optimize this. I don't, like right now it might be working just fine, but later on it's going to be an issue. Um, so yeah. Let's actually try and add uh, a little block class so we can add different types of blocks um, like uh, some dirt and some grass and something else other than stone because I'm tired of watching stones all over the place, okay? Um, so yeah, let's go ahead. Oh fuck it, I'm gonna add this right now with the other right here. I know I'm gonna forget about it. I'm gonna be like, why isn't it working? I, I know I call it. Why isn't it going on? What's going on? So yeah, just do that. And everything is good to go. <coughs> Pretty awesome, isn't it? Okay. <coughs> so about our block class, I'm gonna go ahead and do public. Enum, nah, I don't think that's what we want to do, is it? Let's just do a class, uh, nah, let's do a enum. I don't know what to do, I'm lost. Public class block. Then we're gonna go ahead and say public string display name and public string name public byte id public byte <coughs> uh, texture x texture y side and then we're gonna go ahead and 
<coughs> leave this like texture x top texture y top texture s bottom texture y bottom then we want to do public block um, <coughs> and then string name string display name <coughs> Uh, well, we don't need to actually set a byte ID. Then we're going to go ahead and say um, byte tx byte ty. Okay. Then we say this uh, name is equal to name. Oops. This that display name is equal to display name. Texture x. Um, Texture bottom is equal to tx. We're gonna copy this for every uh, x uh, axis uh, texture. Then we're just gonna copy uh, all those three. We're gonna change dx to y, and we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Then we're gonna copy the uh, whole uh, <coughs> function. We're gonna paste it again. We're gonna say side x side y. Oops, I forgot the byte went a little bit way ahead of myself so over here on the side uh, where do we have that texture x dot well we didn't put the side in because I'm a fucking dummy mate okay now that's what I'm talking about let's copy that again uh, so side side x side y <coughs> and So if I start eating it from now, um, like cause like yeah, uh, I gotta eat as well. And bite bottom Y. And guess what? That's what we're gonna do. <coughs> we're gonna do another thing. We're gonna do a public static list uh, of blocks. Um, blocks. You got the new that, and then over here, we're gonna say that our ID is equal to dot dot count. Wonderful. So we don't need to set the ID. Basically, we're setting the ID for uh, ourselves. We're gonna start. Uh, go ahead and here in the world. I'm gonna create some blocks. So blocks, blocks that add a new block. Let's call it dirt. Then display name, just make it all fancy. Uh, the texture, I got no idea where it is. We're gonna add the stones as well. The stones we actually know because we actually use it over here on the uh, face. 1 and 15. Let's go ahead and check for the dirt. Is that the there? It's just one um, one case on the side, so it's basically two fifteen. Now let's go ahead and add the uh, grass, grass uh, block grass, because then we can add the grass, which is like the these things here. So that's why I did like two separate names. We we can have like two items with the same name that displays in the um, inventory. But we are gonna have like some basic. Uh, so we have a way to like distinguish between them when we are like coding and stuff. Yeah, let's, uh, let's just find it way better. Anyways, the side of it is gonna still be dirt. Actually, it's not gonna be dirt. It's gonna be the, the the thingy thing where it has the side like that. Where is it? Um. Now, fuck you, texture pack. That uh, I think that's it. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna use the dirt side, then we can change it later. You can change it to your likings, yeah. Anyways, yeah. Uh, oh, that's the top actually, yeah. I fucked up. So the top is at uh, 0, uh, 15. The side is gonna be at 2, 15. And the bottom <coughs> is gonna be. It's gonna be dirt as well, so 2, 15. So on the top we're gonna have the grass on the sides and on the bottom we're gonna have our what do you want? 
Ah, uh, yeah, sure thing, because you cannot cast it yourself. Why not? Because you're fucking stupid, right? Yeah, I mean, it's it's nice that they, that they tell me to cast it, because sometimes you do math and shits get real. Uh, oh, we're not using the information. Um, and so what I'm gonna do now here on the ad block, we wanna go ahead and uh, say... Well, we wanna go ahead and say... We're gonna go ahead and say byte here... Byte block uh, ID which is equal to maps um, chunk chunk ID is there yeah that's a thing chunk ID and then X Y and Z so basically we're getting the block that we are working with this is the side offset that we're gonna be using so uh, it's gonna be blocks block that blocks uh, block ID that Texture side, and here you're gonna just say the exact same thing. Texture Y side, and then we're just gonna copy these. I'm gonna say bottom, oops, and top. So bottom and top. So we're gonna go ahead and see now uh, if we are top we do that, if we are bottom we use this one which has a B in front of it and if we are um, front as well we use the thingy thing, if we are back and the back face we're gonna write a left face Did I miss something? Yeah, in the top face so I kinda skipped the first one for some reason So that should actually give us the things we want, although I kinda didn't do that thing as far Anyways, uh, this is, what number is this gonna be? Uh, the ID of it. It's gonna be 1. Yeah, because we used 1 here on the map, so that's why we're still getting stone. Yeah. I'm gonna do this 0. So that's gonna be uh, dirt. Let's see if it worked. Uh, not really. <coughs> I think it's just taking zero as year block, and I kind of like that. I don't want to change that, so I'm just gonna go and do this plus one. So zero is gonna be uh basically uh. Stop complaining, you fucking little bitch. <sighs> you can have convert it into to bite. Why can't she convert it into a bite? Not why, just why. Is that gonna work? Tell me that is gonna work. Thank you, sir. You're just fucking awesome. Okay. Moving on with our lives. Like I was saying, zero is gonna be air. So now we're gonna see dirt because one. Uh, we just moved our IDs up one. So why isn't it fucking dirt? Dirt, where are you? Let's see if I actually change this. <coughs> Something like fourteen. We are not storing any information. Yeah, okay, it's working. It is working. Fine, good, awesome, wonderful. But why isn't it dike? Why wasn't it dirt? Why is it stone? Stone is ID 1. No, it's ID 2. Oh my goodness! What if I put 0? It's, it's just gonna give me a. I'm not gonna render the top part. If I put 2, what is it gonna give me? Summer grass, whoa, grass, 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 every grass. Yeah, like I said, you can see it has uh, the grass section on top and dirt on all sides, <coughs> and it's working. It's quite beautiful. No reason, really, because I hate this texture pack. Oh my goodness. Like to 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 quit this um, this tutorial because I mean we're already on twenty minutes. I've just been rambling and boring you <coughs> all video long. <coughs> I'm gonna go ahead and <coughs> get a, another Minecraft texture. <sighs> you know what? I might be just go ahead and like save documents, Minecraft English assets, textures. I'm gonna say that in, and we're gonna see how that works out. 
Because why the fuck not? <coughs> There. Make it point. I think it's kind of blurry. It's not like it's not that the. Yeah, I think it's kind of like <clears throat> the image is too small. I'm not sure what I'm saying is true. But let's just check it and see what what's happening. Yeah, as you can see when I get closer, it is way too small, and that's totally not what I am looking for. Thank you, Minecraft web page thing. What are you? What are you? Can I see you? I don't like you. I don't... Uh, it's, this one might be actually quite interesting to, to be experimenting with. <coughs> I'm gonna save it in that guy's place. So yeah, I just made it point already play way better this looks way more like I don't know Mario like ish um, <clears throat> I like this stone we can actually now go ahead and do, do the sides on the grass because now I know where the grass fucking is I'm not gonna say I enjoy this texture pack but I'm gonna stick with it <clears throat> the only reason I changed was because I couldn't really make out, out what was what. So just change that. No, that's the bottom. What am I doing? Just change that to a three instead of a two. So it will put on the size the, the right texture. See? I never lied to you guys. Do I? Now, do I? Would you think that would I would do something like that? <coughs> yeah, one thing is bothering me. Is that when I, whenever I do, <coughs> whenever I say that this is, uh, so two is giving me that when that should be actually three. See, like that doesn't make much sense. <coughs> I'm gonna say uh, debug that log id. <coughs> we shouldn't get like zero. Why is it just being called like twice? I'm getting lost. Somebody help me. Like it's debugging like twice when I'm adding three blocks. Not what the fuck. Oh, never mind. Never. I'm just dumb like that. Yeah. Don't. Don't. Don't even. Don't. Just. Just don't. We're calling the other ones. Uh, but we did this update for every single one of them. Like, what? What's, what's, what's the big deal? Plus two. Would you like it? Plus two. You shouldn't. Let's see what that will do. It's still fucking stones. Oh. Oh. <laughs> now there the fucking shitty ass thing starts rambling again about don't wanna do that. Just do it. <coughs> there you go, now that's more like it. So, huh. Never mind about what just happened. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, <clears throat> now this is this is gonna be uh, dirt on there and stones on there. So we just want to do one and three since one is dirt, three is grass, and then you have dirt and grass. Woo! We did it! We fucking did it! What did we do actually? Yeah, we did the chunk manage management. You can see they are all treated individually instead of all at the same time. Killing performance. Um, what else? I don't know, you, you just watch the video and recap it yourself. I don't know if next to it I want to start with lightning, because I'm quite excited to see where that will take me. Like, I've done like lightning only once before, and I was quite happy with the results. I, I want to try and recreate it, um, and see how how we can actually go ahead and make this world like look alive you know because it looks kind of boring right now it's quite like dark 
and not so fun. Um, it's not the best thing, that's what I'm trying to say. You can actually try and... No, that doesn't work, okay. Yeah, so you get the point. Anyways, see you in the next fucking tutorial, mates. Whoa!